Hi everyone. So God is saying some of you are facing a serious spiritual attack when it comes to your marriage. There's things that need to be broken and there's also declarations that need to be made. It's time for you now to have the stubborn faith when it comes to your marriage because it's been delaying in coming. But today I'm going to be praying a very powerful prayer with you that you can follow along in the mighty name of Jesus. And what I'm going to be talking about today and also praying upon is also found here in my book, How to attract mr right and get married within a year it is also on amazon the link to the book is on the description so you find that there's certain types of people there is a blueprint that is associated with you when it comes to your relationships some people they don't struggle at all to get married they don't even have to put it as a prayer point they just always have someone to marry them it's like it seems easy for them when it comes to marriage even if they can divorce they still easily find that marital breakthrough again or even if they can lose their partner they still find someone else to marry them you can also see as well with the likes of ruth ruth it seemed like she found the grace of marriage even twice so there are such people but also there are also people whom you find that it's easy for them to date they are never ever single even if they leave this relationship they are easy it's easy for them to move on to the next relationship quite easily but such relationships don't really end up in marriage for them it's also a certain kind of spirit that need to be altered but you also find that there is people who are maybe a no-go zone. They never just have someone even approaching them or someone who, who wants to enter into a serious relationship with them. Like people just don't approach them like what is going on. But you also find that there is someone they do enter into a long-term relationship. But still the person they are with doesn't want to be committing. They have been in that relationship five years but the person they are with doesn't want to be committing. And then there's also uh, people whom it's like they, they can be in a relationship. Someone can be uh, engaging them, uh, proposing to them, but something bad happens before they get married. Or after they get married, maybe something happens within the month, the first month of marriage and all that. Something bad happens. Those are spirits that need to be altered in the mighty name of Jesus. So today... We are going to be praying this prayer to be commanding your marriage. Pray this prayer as often as you can, as often as you can remember until you see your breakthrough. God is still at work. So this prayer is found on page 145 of my book. So let's, let's pray. Pray with me this prayer. Repeat after me. Lord, I come today and stand in the gap for my marriage. I desire to get married. And you said in your word in Genesis 2 verse 18 that it is not good for the man to be alone. You will make a helper suitable for him. Lord, I want to be someone's suitable helper. Unite me with my husband. If you are a man, say this, Lord, bring forth the person who will be a suitable helper unto me. Unite me with my wife. Your word in Zechariah 4 verse 6 to 7 says that, What are you, mountain before Zerubbabel? You will become level ground. And it will not be by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. Here am I, Lord. I am facing marital delay. And it seems to be like a mountain. And I know that you are making it level ground. And it will not be by my own power or might. You thief, I know you've been sent to still kill and destroy my joy. But Jesus, according to his word in John 10 verse 10, has come to give me life and abundant life for that matter. You have messed up in my life and your time ends now. You rulers, forces of darkness, spiritual forces of darkness, today you lose your hold over my life. I put the full, I put on the full armor of God. Lord, your word in Matthew 11 verse 12 says that the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Every good thing that the enemy has taken, I take by force I take by force in the name of Jesus. 
every mask of deception that you have clothed me with i remove it today in the name of jesus i remove anything you have you might have put on my face which makes people not to find me attractive in the name of jesus lord restore my face and enhance my beauty in the name of jesus devil and your agents i remove every garment that you have dressed me up with and put on the garment of christ i speak cleansing in my mouth and voice so that when i speak people will love to listen to me in the name of jesus lord open up my eyes from the blindness that the enemy has caused so that i can be able to see my spouse in the name of jesus also open up my ears so that i can hear when you speak to me and i can also hear the voice of my spouse in the name of jesus lord open up the eyes of my spouse so that he or she can see me every generational curse that is working against me against my marriage be broken right now any soul ties i break them right now past relationships will no longer affect my life in the name of jesus no curse will operate over my life for i am the temple of the holy ghost i announce divorce to every spiritual husband or spiritual wife i remove every ring you have put on me in the name of jesus no longer will i be good enough to date but not good enough to be a wife or husband i will be someone's answer i will be someone's wife i will be someone's husband for women give me someone to submit to who will love me for men give me someone that i will love and who will be respectful this relationship will be my last in the name of jesus i am getting married in the mighty name of jesus for in your word in job chapter 22 verse 28 it says we shall decree a thing and it will be established i thank you lord for hearing me in the name of jesus amen so if you've been praying this prayer with me i speak breakthrough over your life receive your marriage receive your marital breakthrough in the name of jesus may you experience marital bliss in the mighty name of jesus this is your season to get married you are getting married nothing is going to be standing in your way this time in jesus mighty name amen